Hello, it's me again. I am recording another video today on another basic fitness and health tip. And this is one that is going to increase your metabolism. It's going to uh, massage your organs, make sure that they're in good shape. It's going to um, you know, flush out all sorts of stuff that's in your lymph system. It's going to make sure that your body is processing things correctly. Um, you're going to be getting a lot more out of your nutrition. It's going to be good for your heart. It's going to be good for your lungs, all sorts of stuff. This one's going to affect all sorts of body processes all at once. Okay, So this one is on breathing. Breathing. You might say, breathing. I've been breathing my whole life, otherwise I would be dead. I don't know what you're talking about. But have you been taking full breaths? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Most people breathe shallow, meaning they will breathe into their upper chest and they just breathe up here. And because they breathe up here, they end up getting caught in these little uh, accessory breathing muscles here. We have little ones on the side of our neck, if you feel them. They're called scalenes. More than likely, if you touch back here on the side of these two, these two V-shaped ones here, which is called your sternocleidomastoid, if you feel right behind that and then you jam forward, if you feel a lot of weirdness and tension, especially down near your collarbones, that means that you are not breathing properly and these little secondary breathing muscles are actually grabbing a rib cage and pulling it up and dropping it, pulling it up and dropping it, pulling it up and dropping it, pulling it up and holding it and holding it and holding it, especially when you get stressed out or something like that, it will move your upper torso up just slightly so you're getting enough space to get some breath in there. Okay, that's one type of breathing that people do, which is usually wrong. The second type of breathing that people usually do, which, well, let's not say wrong. If you're breathing, you're alive, so that's great. But the second type of breathing that people do that's not optimal would be breathing just into the lower abdominals, just into the diaphragm. You see this a lot in yoga. They tell you to breathe through your back. And when you breathe through your back, your diaphragm you know, will will expand and contract in that position and you'll just basically be breathing through your belly. You're not really breathing up into your chest or getting the air up into this this area here. The proper way of breathing that will affect all sorts of body processes and it will aid in healing, it will aid in increasing your lung capacity, it will aid in speeding up your metabolism, it'll aid in pretty much everything is complete breaths. All right, complete breathing. So in order to completely breathe with the full lung capacity that you have, you have to breathe first down into the abdomen like you're breathing through your back, like you're trying to reach, and I know that you know, I'm not, I'm not far enough away from the camera for you actually to see everything I'm talking about. But, but picture that your hips are like this, okay? And and say this is the ridge on either side, what you would call your iliac crest on the back of, on your hips here, okay? So here's your hips, and then here's your tailbone right here. You want to breathe into this front area first. You want to inhale. And you're gonna breathe into it and you're gonna expand that out so like you're trying to blow up your bladder you're gonna expand that out and then you're gonna expand it out and as you continue to inhale in it's going to expand from there and then you're going to allow it to keep rising up your body you're gonna keep inhaling all the way up not just in your belly but letting that come up all the way through your lungs until your shoulders will naturally rise a little bit because the air has come up to the top of your lungs and has pulled the, those muscles up a little bit okay and then you're just going to let it go and then you're going to inhale again all the way from the bottom Now, ideally, you are going to breathe through your nose only. You don't want to breathe through your mouth. 
The reason you don't want to breathe through your mouth is because it shuts off uh, airways and it causes all sorts of weird alignment things to happen in your jaw uh, with your teeth and where they're set with the way that you're actually able to access oxygen. It also cuts off certain muscles and it makes it much more likely. I mean, what happens when you gasp? <gasps> right these secondary muscles are going to come into play which we really just want to use them when when they're needed okay when it's when it's vital you don't want to use them all the time because then you get things like tension headaches okay sinus headaches because this has has a tissue on the outside of fascia and it will wrap up and it'll squeeze your eyes squeeze your eyeballs it might pull on your head give you a headache all sorts of problems okay but if you breathe completely through the nose in and out through the nose and you let everything come all the way up and then you let it out and then all the way up and you let it out and the more often that you do that the faster you are going to start taking control of, of something in your health that you can do something about right now. Oxygen is so incredibly important for all of our body functions. I mean, it's one of the main proponents that we get, obviously, from water that helps all of our cells function and helps our brain function correctly and helps all of those other things, you know, work. Um, it helps our body systems work. It helps clean our blood. It helps clean our systems. It's phenomenally important. So make sure that you are getting good, deep breaths all the way up and in, and it will allow your lungs to have a workout. Now, the easiest way that I've found to do this is to set aside some time where you are going to go out and go walking. I'm talking maybe a mile and a half, two miles a day. That's probably about, you know, for most people, even if they're just leisurely walking, it's about 20 minutes, about 20 minutes or so. Walk for about 20 minutes and breathe like this the whole time. Now, of course, if you're starting to get lightheaded, it's probably because you're not used to breathing so deeply and so fully. That's fine. Take your time. Slow down. But come back to it and continually move through and allow your body to breathe completely. And once you're getting those muscles, those joints, everything moving, and you're incorporating that full breath, you're going to start noticing that your metabolism is going to start working better for you. But it's, much, it's very hard to do if your system is not working. Okay, So just the act of breathing alone completely and the movement will start opening up those joints it'll start making it so that your synovial fluid in your joints is, is moving a little bit better and you're going to have a lot less aches and pains you're gonna have a lot less muscle pain you're gonna have a lot less fatigue you're gonna notice that you have more energy and all sorts of other great benefits because breathing is the most vital function that we have okay it's the most vital function that we have they say that you'll you know, you can only go about three minutes without breathing before you die. They say you can only go about three days without water. Um, you know, sometimes three weeks without food. It's, it's a progression of threes. But breathing is the top one. It is the top of the hierarchy. So learn to breathe correctly. It doesn't take very long. Even if you just take five minutes after this video and you try it out, you'll start to see immediately you're going to be in a better mood after you breathe like that for a little bit. All right? It's, it's good for your energy. It's good for your body. It's good for your mind. It's good for your spirit. It's complete utilization of your body. All right? So try that out. Simple, simple, simple tip. If you do it, all of your health will start coming into alignment over time. Over time. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have to watch what you eat. You don't have to exercise in other ways as well. And we'll get into that a little bit later. I'll, I'll make a video about that tomorrow. Different modes of exercise and things like that. But keep breathing. Keep breathing. Breathe all the way. 
and engage with your breathing. And, and you can even combine it with what we talked about yesterday with the, with the finger, where you are starting to feel what it's like throughout your body and develop that sensitivity of what it's like when you are breathing completely through your system and feel how your other systems are reacting to the way that you're breathing. Now you're starting to build not just an external muscular type of sensitivity, but you're starting to build an organ sensitivity, a feeling of your organs on the inside and how it feels to have your structures move a certain way, to move naturally. All right. So that is that for today. I know teaching you how to breathe. So that's it. Tomorrow we'll do some more of this on this little series on uh, getting in shape for the new year. I hope you have a great night. I hope you stay healthy, stay safe, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.